In this video, I will explain the Collaboration Networks application that we have developed in Torch. From this page, one can access a couple of applications that are found at the bottom and designed to access the publications of the universities within the Alliance, according to different filters. All data is obtained from the OpenAlex database and I will show the search tool and explain the basic differences among the two because the output is exactly the same. Select the universities you want. In this case, we select them all and filter by ISSN of the journals or by keywords. I will use keywords because it's a little bit more complex. I will look for complex networks and complex systems topics in this database. Click here and select the corresponding set of keywords. Then you can add some dates. For instance, here we will start in 2019. Now we are going to make a query to get the publications. We are searching. We are calling the database for these publications. Here we have the results. On the right side, we get the list of all the publications. Highlighted in different colors, we can see the people that correspond to the different universities according to the code found at the bottom of the left side. As you can see here on the left, we have all the options of visual analysis. You can execute all these actions here. And the first one that you can do is to choose the maximum number of authors of a given publication. Because the input of too many authors for the visualization is counterproductive, another action that we can do is the removal of the papers within Archive. We can then go to this application which corresponds to the author statistics, and here what we get is a complete list of publications by years. Subsequently, we get the citations and all of the information concerning these publications, the quartiles in which they have been published according to CiteScore, and also if they belong to the first decile. Here we see how many publications, how many citations, as well as a list of the people involved. Furthermore, you can click on any of them to see each and every one of their personal contributions to this query. Let's go back here. Now, for instance, we can visit the co-authorship network. As you can see, we have the default view in which we are only able to see the authors that have participated with at least five publications. We can make it not so strong and see which are the contributions. Here, we can see different colors that correspond to different publications or different communities in which there is a collaboration. Next, we can see the list of universities and in this area we see, with different shaped symbols, the correspondence to the different universities. Next, we can visit the Concept Network application. Here we can select all and we are able to visualize a kind of map, in this case of collaborations. There are links between the nodes. The nodes correspond to different concepts in the OpenAlex database and the links correspond to whether these concepts have appeared together. We can see here the main topics in this discussion. And then, for instance, we can remove some of the main topics to see the contributions. Once we update, we can see a different view which corresponds to the network of concepts. We can also access a complete list of institutions that have collaborated. We can make the selection and then we can show the other institutions that have participated in the query. In this particular case, this is influenced by the universities of the Alliance. And finally, we can go to the interdisciplinary chart, where we get a pie chart with the contributions from the various disciplines. Here on the left, according to the ISSN, the way it is classified in SiteScore. Further on the right, according to the main concepts in OpenAlex. 
And finally, we can also download a CSV file containing all the information that you have here on the right. And for instance, make a report or whatever you want to do with the list of publications. The other application I mentioned is the collaboration networks. But in this case, it's simply for combinations of universities because we are only looking at collaborations where at least two universities have participated. In this case, the keywords are slightly different, but the way that we treat the output is exactly the same. Thank you.